G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now today we're gonna to take a look at how you're going to be able to limit access to OneDrive for Business to specific user groups or security groups. Now, uh, there are many organizations that really want to restrict access um, to OneDrive for Business. Now, uh, the reason being a lot of times is that um, you know organizations consider all documents that are or content that are being created uh, that should be part of the business need to be done in SharePoint or in a SharePoint site associated with the business unit or department or that particular way of working. Now, there's a new license or add-on that has just been announced, and that is the Microsoft Syntex Advanced Management. It is in preview at the moment, but what it is going to provide is additional capabilities to help manage SharePoint and OneDrive, and also enhance Microsoft 365 security compliance collaboration and that type of thing as well. One of the features of this add-on is the ability to restrict access to OneDrive to specific user groups or security groups, should I say. So that's what we're going to take a look at uh, in this session. Now, what is it? You can see on the screen here, you can limit OneDrive access to members of specific uh, security groups if you wanna only allow certain users to have, to have access, even if the other users outside of these security groups are licensed for OneDrive, they're not going to have access to their own OneDrive or any shared OneDrive content. So something to make note of there. Now, there are a few requirements, all right, and that comes from a licensing side. To access the feature, you do have to have Office 365 or Microsoft 365 E5 or A5 licenses, all right? So let's jump in and have a look at how and what the experience is like, how to set it up first or how to enable it, and then what the experience is like. So you can see here, I'm logged in as Megan. I am in the SharePoint Admin Center under the Policies section under Access Control. Now you can see that I've got this new um, link here that says Restrict OneDrive Access. Now I can click on this and it is going to allow me to give it a tick box, right? So we're going to restrict OneDrive Access only to the users specified in the security groups. Now you can see here, we do have a limit. So you can add up to 10 security groups and users not in these security groups will lose access to their OneDrive content. Now we can see here that I've already added uh, the security group for executive. So if I look at the executive security group here, you can see that there's three members, right? So anybody outside of that security group is going to lose access to OneDrive for Business. So if I jump back to the admin center, uh, first of all, let's uh, untick this and we'll save it and we'll go through the process of um, adding a security group. So we'll click on restrict OneDrive uh, access that hasn't set, so let me just refresh this screen and then we select restrict OneDrive access. Let's give this a tick. Yes, we want to restrict. Let's choose the SG executive security group like that and we will hit save. We can see users not, and we're just being reminded again, users not in security groups you specified will lose access to OneDrive and any OneDrive files shared with them. It's going to take a few minutes, but let's have a look. All right, so let's click that and we'll click save and we'll go okay. And let's just give this a refresh. I have found that it is a little bit um, flaky at the moment in, in keeping those settings. So there we go there. The SG executive now has access. Now Megan, who I'm logged in as, does have access uh, or is part of that group. So I'm just gonna close down her OneDrive. I'll jump into the mail. We'll select uh, OneDrive and we'll just confirm that she does have access. My files we've got access to uh, to the OneDrive. Now, if I look at Alex's now, now Alex's e, Alex is not part of um, the executive group. So if I drag Alex's browser across here, I will jump into OneDrive. Let's see if the settings have been um, reflected. And you can see here that Alex gets a uh, an access denied message, all right? So he can't now access that uh, content. Now let's go into my content. Now you can see here, here's a policy template that was located or is located in Alex's file. So you can see there, it's part of his OneDrive. Let's see if we can open that. So we'll click on that. And again, we're rejected. You're going to need permission to access, all right? So um, that is the experience 
that the end user has when they do have that, um, where they lose access or don't have access to their OneDrive. And you do set that from an admin side. We set that in the SharePoint Admin Center under the policies, under access control. And here we can restrict run OneDrive access to particular security groups if we need to do that. So I hope that brings you some value. The following videos are going to cover off a few more uh, items that are covered in this new uh, add-on uh, around Microsoft Syntex Advanced Management. So um, I'll see you in the next episode where we're going to have a look at the blocking of downloading on particular sites. So um, not allowing users to have the ability to sync files or download files from document libraries in SharePoint sites. So see you then, I uh, hope that brings you some value and I'll see you in that session.